some Spongebob nails. I was bored last night and thought I would, you know, just really take it there and make some Spongebob nails. So anyways, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so I think I'm going to start off by showing you guys the sponges. So I actually did film this look stuff, but I'm gonna be honest, it was a hot mess, like, nothing was working out for me as far as, like, what my vision was, so I will do a separate video dedicated to trying this stuff out and doing a look with the eyeshadow palette. So yeah, let's get started. So I did get all three of the sponges, I mean, how could I not? I had to. So start out with Spongebob himself. So this is the Spongebob sponge. And as you can see, his little house is on there and the packaging is just so cute. And of course, he's a square. I really love that they made Spongebob a makeup sponge. I was hoping that they I heard about this. And of course, I will take all these out of their packaging and show you in a separate clip just so I can keep it tapping on the plastic. So that's SpongeBob. And who would SpongeBob be without his best friend, Patrick? And then this is Patrick. They got Patrick's house on there. And of course, they made him with his little green shorts. How cute. I think this one's my favorite just because of the shape of it. It's almost comparable to like a normal beauty blender. And then, of course, we've got school. shape of his sponge is nice too because it's got that rounded edge and a flat bottom so 
absolutely adorable. And as you can see, there's some shimmer in there. And this is going to add a nice glow to your skin. So, like I said, this is the primer spray. See, there's like Krabby Patties, the flowers that are in the back. 
square pants. Like the names are just so cute. That's just some of them. I have to say, Wet n Wild really hit it out of the park with this collab. It's probably the best SpongeBob collab I've seen anyone do yet. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a separate video trying all of this stuff out on camera. And um, hopefully it'll turn out a little better this time around felt really like chaotic and out of place so yeah definitely I'm gonna give it another go so yeah guys that is everything that I managed to pick up I'll pop some pictures up on the screen of the things I did not get because like I said they were not available on Alta's website at the time but this collection is now on Wet n Wild's website Alta but I know some stuff sold out store at Walmart.